Um, I want to give a little example here quick of how ClickFunnels was born. This is cool stuff. Okay. How, how many of you have got ClickFunnels in the last like six months? Cool. Uh, two years? Three? How many of you guys got it during beta? Okay, a couple of you guys. Awesome. Cool. So ClickFunnels, if you don't know, was almost an abandoned project. Um, it was, um, make sure you guys see that there. If we get a camera on this, that'd be helpful. Um, ClickFunnels is almost an abandoned project. And what happened was they created this amazing offer. They put all this stuff together and um, they couldn't figure out how to sell it. And Russell had gone through three, four, five times trying to sell ClickFunnels. No one was buying ClickFunnels. Like, what? Can you, can you even imagine that now? Right? And it, was it because he was a bad salesman? No. Right? That guy had multiple Two Comic Club X awards without ClickFunnels. Right? That, was not, that, that wasn't the reason. Was ClickFunnels a bad product? No. It's amazing. What was the problem? It wasn't even the offer. Sales message. Sales message. The who? The who? This is how ClickFunnels was born. This is actually what made ClickFunnels survive. They, again, almost got rid of it. In fact, he was planning on it. Mike Phil Same called him and said, hey, dude, I can't figure out how to sell ClickFunnels. Or uh, said, hey, man, um, why don't you come speak at my event and I want you to sell ClickFunnels. And Russell's like, no, no one's buying it. And he's like, uh, well, I already told everyone you're coming, so <laughs> that's what happened. So Russell redoes the sales message one more time and he stands on up and he sells and 30% of the room buys. He's like, holy crap. And on the flight back home, he messages everybody, goes, we're rich. We, we already know, line up all the affiliates. We just found out how to do it. This is what they figured out, okay? And I gotta end here real quick, but uh, I'm gonna go fast this because this is key to understand. Um, okay, if you have over here, did Russell create a category? Totally, right? Absolutely. So he's over here in the ClickFunnels space. And he's creating kind of a, a market that doesn't quite exist yet. And it's when he learned to sell to a certain who that ClickFunnels survived. What was the who? Websites. You all been watching my podcast. <laughs> I love it. Websites. ClickFunnels was born from the website market until in the sales message, he became the anti-website. He actually coins the death of the website. He bought deathofthewebsite.com. Okay. And when he became the anti-website, from the website space, ClickFunnels was born. Who would be interested in buying that from the website space? Anyone has a website, but also who is failing. They're in the state of pain. Everything I was just talking about before with that who, now what we've done, we're not trying to sell website space. We're trying to sell this little piece right here who are self-identifying as being frustrated with the current solution. All he's got to do is walk in and be like, yeah, death of the website. They're like, really? Because I hate this. Oh, I already hate, are you serious? He's like, yeah, yeah, come on over here. Oh my gosh, lay down sales. Make sense? That is dream traffic, okay? Then what happened after that? Well, they're selling, they're selling, they're selling. They start soaking up all this hot traffic. So what do they do after that? Next market, right? Now, if we go back to Eugene Schwartz, Eugene Schwartz says, we have hot, warm, and cold traffic. What did, what did he not do? He didn't go to warm traffic. Is this making sense? I know it's a little bit like, whew, we're about to go to lunch, but like, think about this. This is marketing. We're talking about markets and how markets create markets at certain timings, okay? What ClickFunnels did, I remember this, and anyway, he's still doing it. I remember, um, um, actually, so let's tell you. So, He's like, you know what? We could go for this dream, this hot style traffic. What if we did it over at the, um, what if we did it over at the, uh, the B2B space? Yeah, you know what? That would be really cool. We didn't know that until I was about to leave ClickFunnels. He was speaking at Grant Cardone's event. It was the first time he ever did. He came back. He's like, dude, you remember how like we keep adding these markets? We talked about this, right? He's like, remember, we went, we went for the MLM space and we told them how ClickFunnels works for them, just that little piece. And then we're over here with like retail. What are the other categories that, we, that ClickFunnels goes after? Ecom. Agencies. Coaching. 
All right, if you go to clickfunnels.com, scroll down a little bit, there's a quiz there. It shows the 10 most frequent buyers of ClickFunnels. Well, how we discovered that, Russell stood on stage and said, Rah, funnel hacks, right? And he sold funnel hacks. And then people at the end would walk up and say, man, that's what happened to Grant Cardone's thing. It's the only reason we added B2B. Oh, Russell, that was so cool. I just wish that it worked for us in the B2B space. Otherwise, we would buy it. It does work for you. What are you talking about? He's like, well, you didn't talk about it. You know in those slides where he's like, who does this work for? B2B, da, 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 da. and he's rifling off all those. B2B wasn't in there. And that's why they didn't buy. Guess what we added immediately, <laughs> right? And he came into the office and he told me that. He's like, dude. And I said, oh my gosh, we get add B2B to everything. He said, yeah. So we went back and instead of targeting a warm or even cold traffic, which is usually suicide for most markets, okay? Most markets don't survive by transitioning to warm for a very long time. Instead, we just go for that little dream traffic inside of a new market. Boom, 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 boom. That's gold. You see how that works? I don't even touch warm traffic. I don't want it. I'm barely touching hot traffic. Really don't want it. I want the traffic that is coming, right? What is B2B doing? They're attracting customers. They're coming over here and they're saying, hey, we got these markets we're selling into B2B with. They got markets they're selling into retail with. Boom, boom, boom. Does MLM attract people? <laughs> A lot, so much so that we all know it, right? Website space, do they attract people? These guys attract people? Do they attract people? All we do is identify the market that we will go sell into and it creates our own. And we target an individual who's at a certain education level, who also is frustrated, who also was a buyer of the main thing in there and the game gets really easy. Yeah. Mic drop. <laughs> okay. Aha's on that, yeah? yeah? That's a big deal. That's marketing, okay? Not freaking logos, okay? 